Okay, we just drove a good 400 miles to come down here and see one of our customers that's been using our, our X4 filters on their industrial engines. On the way back um, from this hydroelectric plant that we just went to, where our bypass filters are installed. They've been on there for six or seven years because that's how long the oil's been in there now. It was extremely loud. So we're just walking through the doors going into hydropower plant. You can see right at the very beginning here, we've got two of our bypass filters set up on the generator side of the turbine. They were having issues with Babbitt material coming off contaminating the oil. So uh, their bearings are made of Babbitt. Babbitt is a, it's a really soft metal and they have multiple layers of this Babbitt and it builds up and they build these bearings out of it. And what happens is, if you remember the video, if you go back and look at the video of my Jeep bearings, you can see on the connecting rods, on the, on the connecting rods, half of the bearing, it had worn into the bearing, into that third layer of the bearing. But on the cap side, you can almost see where it's, it's built up material on the bearing. You know, normally that's where the oil film rides, but it's taken material from the connecting rod side and deposited it onto the cap bearing side. And what happens with that Babbitt is it's even more prevalent with the Babbitt bearings. Because it's a softer metal, right? Yes, it's a softer metal. And it actually builds up until it gets to where your clearance, your bearing clearance actually disappears. Yeah. There had Babbitt in one side, in the turbine side. So these, these turbine bearing or the generator bearings is basically just holding up a giant I think it looked like eight or 10 inch shaft that has the windings on it, just like an electric motor does. So the water comes in from the reservoir, Goes flows the over side. the turbine, the water turbine side, turns the shaft. The shaft is coupled to the generator shaft. The generator bearings, there's, I think there's two or three sets of bearings on that, on that one reservoir of oil. So they have a pump that pulls oil out of the bottom and pushes it over the top. And then they added in the X4 bypass filters into that same loop as a kidney loop to where it would clean out the Babbitt from the oil so that it wouldn't build up on the bearings or the shaft. And the turbine side also has a pair of our X4, meaning Extreme 4, that size bypass filters. And on this side, they are having an issue with water causing condensation to get in and contaminate the oil. And so these two filter elements are pulling all the water out of the oil. The condensation was the water is going over the top of where the oil Oh yeah, the water is. tank is, the oil, the oil, oil tank. tank. The, the cold water is going over the top of where the oil tank is, and so you got hot oil coming back to the tank that's causing condensation yep. on the tank, um, on the inside of the tank, contaminating the oil with water. Yep. And so they then having to change every three to six months to get rid of the water contamination. Now they've installed these two filters that pull all the water out of the oil, and so now they're on they say year six. Year six on the oil. On the oil, and they pull a sample every three to six months now instead of changing the oil, just to make sure that the water isn't contaminated. They change, probably change the filters about every six months to try and get, keep that water uh, contamination down, then verify that with oil analysis, that there isn't water in the oil and that they can keep running it. With the oil analysis, they're, they're showing that there's, there's nothing wrong with the oil. It's not bad. Yeah. If, if the water just hasn't contaminated water, it, yeah. it's 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 good oil still. It hasn't worn out yet. Yeah, on year six of the oil and swapping out filters every six months to a year. What we don't have any footage of, but hopefully he, he said he was going to send us some pictures, is he has several natural gas fueled industrial engines. They're an internal combustion engine. They're a diesel, a diesel engine, Cummins diesel engine, that's been retrofitted to burn natural gas in it. So the heads are a little different, put spark plugs in them. But the issues that they were having with these natural gas engines that are coupled to pumps that pump water is the oil was being contaminated by the leftover combustion of the natural gas in the cylinders. The piston rings were actually dragging this contaminant that it was creating in the combustion down into the oil so their particle counts 
on their oil sampling was coming up very quickly. They're having to change the oil about every 250 hours on, yeah. on these engines. And so they just installed a bypass filter, one of the extreme fours, same as what you're looking at in the video. Now they change their oil every thousand hours every thousand instead of 250 hours. hours. With the verified oil analysis data. Yeah. With these engines, with, with that contaminant up in the combustion chamber being drug down into the oil from the piston rings. Scoring the piston walls yeah, and the rings. So it's wearing the engine out on the cylinders, which is first of all bad. You're wearing your engine out, which means you can't, you know, you may not even be able to bore it out big enough to repair it. You might have to get a new block. Also, what it's doing is it's allowing oil to be left on the cylinder walls when the piston goes all the way up the oil gets splashed up onto the cylinder walls and then when the piston is pushed back down it leaves that little line of oil that where the scarring is so That's in essence the, the engine is, oil. is consuming oil it's, yeah. it's burning it in the combustion chamber so they're consuming a lot of oil in that even though they're removing these contaminants with the bypass filter after a certain amount of time they're still the engines get to where they're consuming a lot of oil and so we talked to them about using our Lorenzo's with the WS2 to reduce the friction on those piston rings and, and the piston walls uh, so that it doesn't cause that scarring they're oh. going to try that in the new engine that they just put in and then two of the engines that are getting to the point where they're consuming a lot of oil and they're about ready to have to be rebuilt to see if they can prolong that rebuild process yeah, maybe, maybe and then reduce also, the amount of, of engine yeah, reduce the oil of, consumption and prolong the life of the new one so that in you know a couple years from now they're not getting to that point of of consuming oil on that engine and we'll have all those results in the years to come yeah